Today we're going to take a look at using the trackball behavior with Rad Chart View, part of the Telerik Rad controls for Silverlight and WPF control suites for .NET and XAML development. In this video, we're going to start by reviewing a Rad Cartesian chart, just so you can see all the elements that are going into the visual we'll be displaying. Then we'll go ahead and add the trackball behavior and see how that works with our live chart. Finally, we're going to go ahead and customize how that behavior displays in our Rad Chart View, really showing off some of the power of this brand new behavior. Stepping into Visual Studio, we can see that we already have a rad chart view defined. So stepping down through some of the code, we can see we've given it the name XChart. We're actually using the palette feature. So here we can see Arctic was chosen. We have a host of palettes that are available. We'll actually go ahead and choose Autumn for some nice warm colors. Then we go ahead and set our Cartesian chart grid, in which we're only doing the major X and major Y line dash arrays. Scrolling down, you can see where we set the horizontal axis to a categorical axis and the vertical axis to linear. And then we go ahead and define two area series, both with category and value binding, set to X value and Y value respectively. Stepping into our code behind, we can see in our loaded event, we're creating two lists of chart data class, first chart data, second chart data is two, and we create a new random since we need some random values. And finally, we iterate through a for loop that creates 50 new values for each list and last but certainly not least, we set these newly built lists as the item source for the first and second series present in Rad Chart View. So if we went ahead and ran this right now, this is the chart that we were going to see. Keep in mind, like I mentioned, we're using the Autumn palette, so it's going to handle the coloring for us. And we have some really nice looking colors on a very festive looking chart. But I don't get any info as I move my mouse over. This is what the trackball behavior is meant to fix. So we'll go ahead and close this, step back into our XAML, and see just how easy it is to add this new trackball behavior. Now as a matter of a habit, I put all my behaviors before the chart grid. So we're going to say Telerik rad cartesian chart, let IntelliSense handle that for us, dot behaviors, again IntelliSense. And then we can go and say Telerik, and as you see, we have several behaviors available. We have another video in the series covering the pan and zoom behavior. We additionally are going to have selection and tooltip covered in future videos, but today we're worried about this trackball behavior. Now there's a few properties I'm going to want to set. First up is show intersection points, kind of speaks for itself, this will be true. After that we have show track info, once again true, we want to see everything. And last but certainly not least, snap mode. Now snap mode is going to help determine what we're displaying from different chart areas that may be in our chart. So if you have multiple chart areas, this can come into play, but I just want to grab all close points since I know we're working off of the same categories in our chart. Now again, I have changed nothing with templates, nothing in code behind, simply added five lines of XAML for our new behavior, and we'll go ahead and run this and see how it looks. Once again, waiting for Internet Explorer, but now when this loads, we have the addition of our trackball behavior. So as we're moving along, we see the categories match up, but the values are very different, which pretty much goes along with what our chart is showing. So the trackball is going to go ahead and give us that view. So while I may be saying, okay, I can tell this looks to be around 12, there's a spike, but when I move with my trackball, I can actually see that spike along with the actual values that were displaying in the chart. Very cool stuff, I know. Now stepping back into Visual Studio, we definitely want the ability to customize what we see with the trackball. So we'll go ahead and choose our first area series. Now within the series, we're going to see that we already have trackball info template. So this is what's going to determine with a data template, as you might expect, what we're going to display for the trackball for this respective series. Now in this case, I just want to show you how you're modifying this. So we can go ahead and say, we're just going to make a new text block. We're say the foreground is going to be red, just give us some color, and we want to display some kind of text. So if I just did text binding, we're going to get the actual data item that's being displayed. But that's not what we're looking for, since since courtesy of .NET, we're just going to get the long type name for what we're looking at. Instead, we're going to say data point, and since we're looking for the category value in this case, category. What this is going to do is send that category value to our new text box that's being used as a data template for this first area series, but for the second area series, we're still going to see that default behavior. Go ahead, hit F5, Internet Explorer is going to be coming back to us, and now we're going to see our new Autumn palette, but with the added trackball info template that we used for the first series. 
So we can see it's a text block, it's displaying in red, and it does have that category value, which we can check against the second data point. But as you can see, it's just that easy to get this trackball behavior displaying in your charts today. And of course, this is only showing a small bit of the potential for the trackball, since as you've seen, it's a data template, so you can effectively put any kind of content you want in there. And I want to thank you for watching using the trackball behavior using Rad Chart View, part of the Telerik Rad controls for Silverlight and WPF Control Suite. And I definitely want to thank anyone who's tuned in to the entire five video series for checking out all this great new content on Rad Chart View. And definitely stay tuned because next Thursday, next week, we're going to continue releasing more videos for more controls from the Telerik Rad controls from Silverlight and WPF Control Suites. So stay tuned.